Check it out. Handle, magazine, magnets. Greetings fellow makers, welcome to Prop3D, your guide to 3D printing for prop and costume making. I'm Bill, and today, clearly, I'm very excited about Destiny's Rise of Iron. I've been playing it all week, having a lot of fun, and getting really excited to work more on the Boolean Gemini scout rifle that we've been building. We've got part one and part two out already, and today, we're putting some parts together. I'm stoked to show you about it. Where we last left off, I was printing the other part of the handle piece. Well, tell you what, even though the sport material kind of went rogue, it fixed itself and that print came out looking awesome. That left me with two pieces that needed to be put together. They fit together pretty well, but I needed to clean up those surfaces to get them ready for the glue up. I got some really aggressive 100 grit sandpaper and a sanding block and started cleaning it up and smoothing it out a bit, especially on the part that had support material. It was a little bit janky, but these parts don't need to look pretty. They just need to fit together well. Using a sanding block and a little strip of sandpaper, I roughed up these surfaces, cleaned them up so that they fit well and would accept glue. They fit really well, except for a little bit of a gap that we'll handle later. So I grabbed both a five minute epoxy and a super glue to put these two pieces together. I mixed up the five minute epoxy first and put it in the deeper trench part of my registration keys that I've modeled into this thing. And then I put some super glue onto the higher parts. Then when I press the two parts together and line them up all nice and square, I hit the sides with a little bit of super glue accelerant, setting that up instantly. The super glue actually acts as a clamp for the five minute epoxy, holding it perfectly in place while it cures. This created a really strong bond, but there was still that gap that needed to be cleaned up. So I sanded up those surfaces to get it ready for filling. There are lots of different ways you could fill this. You could use Bondo if you want, but I'm impatient. I grabbed some baby powder and some super glue. Mixing the two together, I made a paste that I could gently lay into the crease between the two parts. Once I was happy with the placement, I hit it again with that super glue accelerant, setting it up right away. This creates a nice rigid filler that can be sanded down smooth. So again, I grabbed more of that 100 grit sandpaper, took down most of it, then I went to a 220 and sanded it all down smooth. This was repeated around the entire piece until the entire seam was filled in smooth. That is a nice looking part. Before we get to the next part of the build, I wanna take a moment to thank our patrons. We're putting out three or more videos per week and we could not do it without the support we get from our friends over at patreon.com slash punish props. If you would like to help us out, help us make more of these videos, help us make them better, then head on over there and consider throwing us a buck. Thanks again and now back to the build. I also modeled the magazine for the gun. This was done up in Fusion 360. For more modeling goodness, check out the last part of this video series. But also, if you're just getting into Fusion 360, Autodesk has some great video tutorials on their website to get you started. Head on over there, we'll have a link in the description. You can go check that out. Get started today, the software is free, the videos are free, and you are out of excuses. I modeled up the magazine and a little piece to go between the magazine and the handle. This was a registration part. I should have modeled this into the handle, but I wasn't thinking of it at the time. Instead, I modeled it separately and I designed it to fit perfectly with the magazine so that they would have some registration and hold the parts together along with some magnets. These parts were all printed on the Ultimaker at 0.1 millimeter uh, layer height using Matter Hacker's Pro PLA filament and the prints came out great. The back of the registration part was sanded to give it some grip for gluing and then I just glued it down using some super glue. I also clamped it in place using the most adorable clamps on planet Earth. Seriously, check out that clamp. It's tiny, it's cute. It's effective. The magazine part came out looking awesome. The real moment of truth, however, was when I put the parts together to see if they fit perfectly. And I'll tell you what, they were really close and just a little bit of sanding got the fit the rest of the way. I glued in some magnets into the holes that had been modeled both in the handle and the magazine, making sure to keep the polarity in the right direction. And now the two parts snap together and hold really well. How about that? This build is really coming along in progress and I'm really excited to get on to the next bit and print more pieces. 
If you're just joining us on this little bit of an adventure, we've got part one and part two for this video series. Head on over there, check it out. See the humble beginnings of the Boolean Gemini gun build. And as always, all of the tools and materials that I used are linked down in the description. Those are all Amazon and Matterhacker affiliate links as well. So if you use those, we get a tiny bit of a kickback, which is awesome. That helps out a ton. Thanks so much, you guys, for checking out our videos. If you're new to the channel, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like I said earlier, we've got like three or more videos coming out every week and you don't want to miss them. Plus, we've got at least seven more, I think, videos in this series and a lot more gun to build. If you're working on a really cool 3D printed project, then go ahead and leave a comment down below. I get back to as many of those as I can. Also, Give us a thumbs up if you're really stoked about the rise of iron. I know I am. Also, next week, Brittany and I are going to TwitchCon. I will be helping out with the judging of their costume contest, along with Giant Waffle and Commander Holly and Yaya Han. We got a power team of people up there judging the costume contest. We're going to be there all weekend long, hanging out, and I hope I see you there. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you all next week, and happy printing.